I believe that uh, the theory of capitalism that are currently upheld even by free market economists really originated with Karl Marx. <laughs> In 1857, he really named capitalism. Okay. Uh, it was uh, in Das Kapital, and he a three-volume masterpiece of Karl Marx, and and it uh, defined capitalist economics as necessarily materialist. It's the materialist superstition, dialectical the flat, the flat world, the materialism, flat. and it thus favored the idea that uh, greed and uh, robber barons, uh, uh, robber baron, all that was uh, essential to capitalism in some way. And, and then he had the eschaton, it was all gonna end because the industrial revolution was the final achievement of human productivity. And from then on, uh, we wouldn't have to work anymore. And uh, there's a, and so, Marx wrote that uh, we could be poets in the morning and sheep herders in the afternoon and fishermen and poets in the evening or musicians. You know, they, he had this view of an upper class British squire as the ultimate mode of living. This was Karl Marx's dream was to be an English squire. But his theory of capitalism was all materialist and greed-based. And I believe that uh, with homo economicus, which is the central sort of way that uh, human agency is depicted in all economic models, reducing human beings to incentive systems, responding to rewards and punishments. Cash rewards. Yeah, whatever, re yeah. rewards and punishments. Uh, really on the physical level, they don't even have cash in this model. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a model where we move toward pleasure and recoil from pain. And that is the, that's really the model that underlies all our economic uh, analysis. And so you, th you believe that many free market advocates have adopted that caricature. Yeah, the caricature. And, and I say that uh, capitalism is not essentially an incentive system. Incentives apply to everything, but, but that, that's a truism. Capitalism is essentially an information system in that wealth, is defined as knowledge. Hmm. Wealth is knowledge. Right. And, and we know that because the Neanderthal in his cave had all the physical resources we have today. The difference between our age and the Stone Age is entirely the growth of knowledge. So if I, if I come home uh, and my wife's not there and she left me a note, I've got, I look at the note on a post-it note, there's information yeah. there. Yeah. You know, I ran to the store. Yeah. But on the other side of information is a person. You know, yeah. Information yeah. In, information is communication. That's right. Yeah. Right? And communication means persons. Yeah. And persons means an opportunity for love. That is true. And, and ultimately, love is the source of all the growth and creativity of human beings in the image of their creator.